dear students we often want to know whether two or more variables are related and if they are related how they are related that is what is the nature of relationship between these variables the chi square test of association that we have extensively discussed is a relationship between two qualitative categorical variables qualitative categorical variables association between voting behavior and voting behavior and uh, the section in the class association between marital status and uh, alcohol consumption these are associations relationships between two categorical variables now in this class and in the subsequent classes we will discuss association between two quantitative variables association between two quantitative variables and uh, two most commonly used methods to study the relationship between quantitative variables is one is linear regression linear regression the other one is linear correlation linear correlation these are the two popular methods to study relationship among quantitative variables and also for making predictions now to prepare our discussion of linear regression and also linear correlation we first explain what is meant by linear equation what is the meaning of linearity and we consider only two variables two variables so what we consider here is we first explain linear regression then we consider linear correlation to explain linear regression as a tool to explain relationship between two quantitative variables first we explain linear equation with one independent variable that is a linear equation with one independent variable then it is possible to generalize linear equations with more than one independent variable that we will see now the general form of a linear equation as you have studied in your high school classes with the one independent variable is written as y is equal to b0 plus b1x a general linear equation with a one dependent variable and one independent variable y is equal to b0 plus b1x y is the dependent variable x is the independent variable b0 and b1 are known as the parameters the constants defining the relationship now 
द ग्राफ ऑफ ए लीनियर इक्वेशन विथ वन इंडिपेंड वेरियब विल बी ए स्ट्रेट लाइन ऑफ सिंप्ली ए लाइन द ग्राफ ऑफ ए लीनियर इक्वेशन विथ वन इंडिपेंड वेरियब ईस् ए स्ट्रेट लाइन ऑफ सिंप्ली ए लाइन and uh, any non vertical line can be represented by such an equation any non vertical line can be represented by such an equation suppose that we have an xy coordinate xy 0 positive values of x negative positive y negative y values things very simple things familiar to all of you suppose that i have an equation y is equal to 4 plus 0.2 x 4 plus 0.2 x then if i plot this equation in the form of a graph i will get an equation like this This is four. Y is equal to four plus four into two x. When the value of x is zero, y is four. Y is four. Now y is equal to minus one point five minus two x. Minus one point five minus two x. So when x is equal to zero, y is equal to minus one point five, and uh, the graph is like this: y is equal to minus one point five minus two x, minus one point five minus two x. Suppose y is equal to minus three point five plus 1.x 8x when x is equal to 0 y is equal to minus 3.5 so it will be like this y is equal to minus 3.5 plus 1.8x so you can represent any equation with the straight lines in the x y plane and for a linear equation y is equal to b0 plus b1x for a linear equation y is equal to b0 plus b1x y b0 is known as the y intercept and it is the value of y when x is equal to 0 in the first case it is 4 second it is minus 1.5 third it is minus 3.5 3.5. B1 is known as the slope. B0 is the y-intercept. B1 is known as the slope. And it tells us by how much y will increase or by how much uh, y will change, increase or decrease, when x changes by one unit. Here it is point two. It says that when x changes by one unit, y increases by point two. Here y decreases by minus two. Here y increases by one point eight, etc. So B zero is the is the y intercept. B one is the slope. The slope. B zero is. The y-intercept. This is b zero, and b one is given by the slope b zero one b one. Now, for uh, any linear equation, for any linear equation, in general. the graph of a linear equation will be positively sloped 
that is slopes upwards if b1 is greater than c. Similarly, the graph slopes downwards if b1 is less than 0 like this b1 is less than 0 and it uh, will be like this if uh, b1 is equal to 0 neither increases nor decreases it is a straight line parallel to x axis. So, when we consider linear regression, remember this, we are considering equations like this and its corresponding graphs. And our aim in the context of linear equation, I mean linear regression is to estimate the constants B0 and B1 to understand the nature of relationship between y and x. For example, if uh, b1 is positive, when x increases, y also increases. If b1 is negative, when x increases, y decreases. If b1 is 0, when x increases or decreases, y is not uh, changing, y remains constant. So we have to explore these possibilities to study the nature of relationship between y and x. First we consider simple linear regression, how to estimate the parameters. Then we will consider uh, what is known as linear correlation as a measure of association between two variables and we will also discuss what is the difference between regression and correlation.